uh, by the quarterback of the Chicago Bears, Tyson Bajan, his son. But Travis the Beast is here. And that's enough star power for us anyway. Not uh, just the Beast. <laughs> Uh, and then super we get Tyson. excited to be back, ladies and gentlemen. Call your friends and family. Tell them the show is going to be turned up here the next hour. But we'll talk uh, Legion baseball later on in the show. Orioles Nationals as well. Uh, Colin, go ahead and give us the the sponsor reads. All right. Our show brought to you by Brown Funeral Home and Cremations. Robert Fields and Sons family owned full service funeral home, proudly serving our area since 1880. All right, let's jump into it, I guess, with Travis here. Uh, you know, Tyson's going to be joining us here momentarily, but um, you guys are here to promote the, the camp that Tyson's had now, I believe, for the second year. Yeah, two of, like, my most favorite things in the world. First of all, football and hanging out with Tyson and Ezra and, and running camps. We've, we've, we did one in Chicago a few weeks ago. It was absolutely amazing, but this is the one because it benefits – Another one of my most favorite things, which is Martinsburg High School football. Dave Walker and, and the Bulldogs are, uh, they are a big part of our lives. Um, you know, we, we can't really repay them as much, but one thing we definitely can do is throw what I think is as good as a high school or youth camp that you can go to. And all I mean by that is I have spent so many weekends at football camps. So trust me, parents, and I know you have too. And you usually get there and there's a bunch of paperwork for signing up and then you run the 40, uh, jump your vertical and they height and weight test you. You run a couple cone drills. And before you know it, three hours has gone by, $185. And all you have is a little index card that, um, that kind of shows you what you know your height and weight is, which you already knew on the way there and they and they they kind of use it with some combine twist um so that will not be what happens up at Martinsburg high school on uh, june 27th it's a thursday night 8 p.m to 10 o'clock but all we do is we match up offensive skill players to footwork with the quarterback so there are going to be situations where you are just working on the screen game, just working on the short game, the long game, the rollout game, all of the things, all of the fundamental plays for offensive football plays. And before the night's over, you are going to have ran about 20 miles. And that's the goal of the camp is to make sure that it is a lot less testing at your height and weight and 40 and a lot more running offensive football plays. So it's a real fun night. Um, the sponsors and, you know, the Beijing group, it's our opportunity in the offseason to give back as much as we possibly can. And the city of Martinsburg has gone crazy. So we have 135 um, scholarship campers, right, at $60 a piece. The campers can come. All the money goes to Martinsburg High School football. And it's just the local community. Modern renovations. Can't say enough about Larry DeMarco. Every single time you mention Martinsburg football, he's in 100%. He's going to send all the Martinsburg High School football team to the camp for free. Along with, we have Varsity Travel, Jefferson Security Bank. I know I'm going to mess up and forget some people. But these guys have stepped up to the other high schools, whether it be Musselman High School has 20 kids coming on scholarship. So does Hedgesville. Brian Jackson and um, the people at Jefferson Security Bank have taken care of Jefferson High School and Wildwood Middle. So um, Molly Humphreys at Piccadilly Posh is taking care of Shepherdstown Middle. So we've got representation from all over the Tri-County, and it just it's going to be a really great day. So if you are a local business and you want to take part in sending some kids to the camp next Thursday, just reach out, travisbajan1 at gmail.com. So there you go. That's kind of taking my question away because I was going to ask if there's still time uh, to register or not for kids, but obviously there are. So other than, uh, I guess, Tyson, who else will be there as somebody that uh, will be leading by example for the kids when they get there? Yeah, we're going to be deep. So we're going to start off just about every ex-Martinsburg and Shepherd University quarterback will be in the house. So Connor Jessup's join us. Jeff Ziemba will be there along with, um, the, you know, the, the four 
current quarterbacks that are there, Sammy Roberts, Leck Powell, Ezra Bajan, and then all the old school guys from Martinsburg, uh, Grant Harmon, um, the greatest uh, quarterback in the history of Martinsburg High School, which is Mr. Nate Sowers. Thank you guys for for bringing that up and rubbing it in my face, but Nate will be there. Um, and it's just, to me, it's a way for me to produce the camp and me to understand from a kid and a parent that football camps aren't always the funnest thing in the world. So we're going to try to make it as fun as we can. We know it's going to be hot. That's why it's late at night. So 8 to 10 p.m., come on out, walk on the track if you're a parent, check everything out. We'll have some food trucks there. There'll be some Tyson Bajan giveaways and jerseys and helmets. Absolutely free to the public. So if you can make it out, just come hang out with us. So for those that were able to get to last year's camp and want to come out to this year's, would you say it would be a similar experience to last year? Did you guys change anything up from last year's camp? So definitely. We just stepped up the number of different scenarios. We're going to add a little balance, a little strength training. We are going to have Tyson's game ball from the uh, his first win along with his game worn jersey as a station where you can go get the photos with that too as you're intertwining through the 10 minute station so it should be a situation where we have plenty of opportunity to educate give them a rest period but also try to give them some experience that they couldn't possibly get anywhere else and then with the camp uh, you mentioned a lot of passing stuff, quarterback, wide receivers. Is it just quarterback and wide receivers or linemen? Offensive skill players. The offensive linemen will become tight ends for the day, but you will be running and catching the ball and or throwing the ball. Offense is all that really matters in football anyway. I mean, come on. <laughs> Only the uncoordinated guys play defense. We don't We don't want 300 uncoordinated guys running around there at Marchburg High School. Somebody will get a concussion. So, it's just for offensive players and offensive players only. So good conditioning for the high school coaches. <laughs> to send kids listen, out. This, uh, the girls, I've been out to watch the NFL Youth Flag League that we have here in Martinsburg. Dylan Brewer and company are running the league. And listen, there are three or four ladies on every team running, catching balls. So ladies, if you love football... And this will be a g- tremendous camp for you as well. So we want to make sure the ladies know that not only are they welcome, but we're looking forward after watching them perform, um, you know, for them to gather these skills as well. All right. One more time. Uh, the details, date, how much it costs and all that. It's Thursday, June 27th, Martinsburg High School, 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. The cost is $60 paid to the Martinsburg High School f- boosters. Um, we also have some scholarships available. So if you reach out, travisbagent1 at gmail.com and you're like, yo, my cousin Johnny needs a, a scholarship. Well, I can tell you now, Mike Hornby and WRNR will not let one kid not come to this camp. So you just let us know. Very good. Got well, anything else? Take on? Our first break. Yeah, let's go ahead and take a break. Possible, I guess, but uh, we're still joined by the Beast, Travis Bajan, Nick Verzellini, Colin McLaughlin, Dylan Bishop here on the show. Tyson stuck in traffic. Yep. But Diva. Already <laughs> one year in the NFL. And then he's it's it's the roundabout. That's what it is. Right? <laughs> it's too that's big what for people want to blame. <laughs> you know it's funny roundabout. how much that those two roundabouts have I've heard people say it. And I'm like, I love Don't you remember how bad it was? I love before? roundabouts. I mean, that's the yeah. worst little area in the world. So this is beautiful. It Let's is. just get the construction done so that we can use the roundabout. If people just don't like change. you are like, whoa, whoa, well, I'm not used to this. But now I get through there, I'm like, I used to have to stop, wait for these other two uh, here. Just, just go right through the roundabout now. It's pretty nice. Well, speaking of I, change. I, I would commit a traffic violation every single time I was around that area until now. <laughs> <laughs> How much of a change was it for you this past year getting to go back and forth between here and Chicago in the first year of Tyson's? career i have luckily um been involved in some promotions in my life but i can tell you with absolute certainty that this last year was the funnest year that i've ever had in my life when it comes to i mean being a uh 
middle-aged man running around for 17, 18 weeks. I missed, uh, I think, three games total, um, and that includes the, the preseason games. So it was just amazing, and we plan on – I don't plan on missing any games this year except one preseason game. I have a, a gig in Orlando already set on August 10th, so I'm going to miss that Buffalo Bills game, which is sad because we got – offered some pretty awesome seats for that preseason game and that's when Tyson plays the most from it looks but besides that it's been crazy I mean you guys I mean we were even when I walked in today and I spoke to Rob and he was just explaining it and I try my best to just crack a joke or make light of it because if you really start thinking about it it's crazy it's crazy the whole you know, every part of it. So I am going to ride the wave as long as it, I, you know, that I can and have as much fun as I possibly can. I'm going to be excited, confident, a little bit outrageous, as many chances as I get. And listen, I am dialing it back for you people in Chicago that think that, oh, man, that, that Tyson's father, he's really something else. Listen, you have <laughs> you gotten <haven't> zero. <laughs> You have gotten zero percent of what I really, really think or um, or my expectations of the entire situation and how realistic I am and how much fun that it is. So I think that even you guys, right? I mean, it's almost like normal now that Tyson's an NFL quarterback. But the truth is, it's crazy. Absolutely crazy that he is. I mean, just like hearing Mike Tirico say the word Shepherd University, I didn't think I would hear until last year when we saw Tyson play on Sunday night. So, you know, it, it was pretty crazy. I know for you, though, I, like you said, you still have stuff with your arm wrestling and stuff. I, I just, I guess, how how's that going now? Are you still competing? And what are some of the things that you've been doing with that? I will tell you that I did experience a little bit of jealousy last year with all the Tyson headlines all the time. So I have been training really hard for about six months and my debut was last saturday in orlando florida and i was super successful as normal when especially when the comeback trail we kind of put a guy that was big from california that definitely had some admirations but i was a little too much for uh, mr Derek smith from california so you can check that out online at the east first west event um so and then july 6th i'm in istanbul turkey July 20th, I'm in Salt Lake City, Utah, and then back to Orlando, Florida, big event, August 10th. So 